Yeah, welcome back. Market liquidity continued to soar after the relaunch of the interbank forex market on Monday. Now, Kunle Olariwaju is a fixed income trader at Wema Bank. Okay, we're trying to get uh, to connect to Kunle Olariwaju, who expectedly will give us some insight into how today's trading is going on at the bond market. Just before then, let's bring to the story. The Meta Economic Development Organization, MEDO, has trained 150 girls on how to build space robots as part of a program that will see young African high school girls from across the continent design a payload for Africa's first privately owned satellite. The satellite will be launched into space later this year. The program is aimed at getting more girls interested in science and technology education. 150 South African teenage girls took part in a space mission on Thursday, June the 16th. They were guided in programming and building rovers or mini robots as part of training for an initiative to get schoolgirls across Africa to help send the continent's first privately owned satellite into orbit. The program is being run by the satellite's owner, Meta Economic Development Organization, MIDO, to get more school-going girls in Africa interested in science, technology, engineering and math, known as STEM skills, which are key for careers in astrophysics and space research. When I started this program, um, I was actually more fond of um, technology and science, and so I decided to carry on because I was more interested now in joining engineering. So this program would help me a lot in terms of um, um, developing skills and having foundation skills for the future. Well, the most thing that I want to achieve is having, an, is having a planet named after me. That's the most thing that I want to achieve. Yes. And probably work for NASA. Or actually build my own, my own company just like NASA. Huh? Research shows that the number of women working in fields of science is still chronically low, more so in Africa where girls are more likely to be kept out of school than boys because of poverty and early marriage. Mido says 80% of jobs will need STEM skills by the year 2020, yet less than 10% of girls are currently interested or are studying science subjects in higher education. Now let's take you back to the market. We're talking about how liquidity continued to soar after the relaunch of the interbank FX market on Monday. Now Kunle Olariwajo is a fixed income trader at Wema Bank and it joins me to discuss how the market is faring at the moment. Kunle, thank you for your time. Thank you so much. It's the last, actually the second trading day for the week and we saw how the interbank FX market was relaunched yesterday. What's the sentiment like on the market today ahead of uh, this development? Oh, well, um, as you all know, the FX market was um, open yesterday and um, the CBN was um, in the market through the special um, through special intervention um, sales that they already told us about. And about $4.02 billion um, dollars or so uh, broken down at 5.2 million for sports and um, 3.49 million for forward. Um, the market has um, the, the, the marginal rate is about 280, and um, currently we have um, markets at um, 285 uh, plus or minus um, two. So the market is um, definitely coming up, and um, CBN with the recent moves has definitely kick-started the market. And, um, uh, let's talk about the for yield. The uh, okay. Can you hear me? For the fixed income market, yeah. Go ahead. Let's talk about the yield. Hello? What's the yield like at this time? Now, for the fixed income market, um, the CBS market has been relatively active. We have um, yields move up, you know, like um, 300 basis for 100 basis points across various maturity spectrum. Um, this is not unconnected with the funding of the four billion special secondary market intervention sales that was done yesterday. Uh, because um, with that sale, CGN effectively mopped up about 1.1 trillion. Um, and so 
most uh, banks having to fund their positions have uh, resulted to selling some of the deals, and that is why we have yields currently um, up across the maturity spectrum. Um, okay. For bonds, the market has not been very active, it's been like this stable. Hello? Okay. Uh, since we've lost um, Kunle, Kunle Olariwaju is a fixed income trader with Wemmer Bank. And that brings us to the end of Business Incorporated. Thank you so much for watching. I am Bolaji Akinwale.